katika Psalms 103 verse 1 mpaka 4 Nitaongea kuhusu thanksgiving kumshukuru Mungu Maandiko inasema hivi Praise the Lord O oh my soul O oh my innermost being praise his holy name verse 2 Praise the Lord O oh my soul and forget not all his benefits verse 3 Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases verse 4 Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Maandiko inasema ya kwamba tumshukuru Bwana kutoka vilindini mwa mioyo yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Unajua ni vizuri sana kumshukuru Mungu kwa kila jambo iwe jambo mzuri ama iwe mbaya unamshukuru Mungu na katika ile shukurani Mungu atafungua njia Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini wakati mwingine inakuwa ni ngumu sana umshukuru Mungu ukiwa katika hali ambayo haifurahishi si ni kweli lakini ina, inafaa tumshukuru Mungu kwa kila jambo hata kama ni wakati wa manjonzi unapolia kwa mshukuru tu Mungu nikawa ninasoma hii story ya wana wa Israeli vile Mungu alivyo msaidia Musa kuongoza wana wa Israeli na siku kuwa nimeiona hiyo 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 message ya Musa kuongoza wana wa Israeli nimeiona juzi nikaona vile Mungu alivyopigania hao watu na wakati wote Musa alikuwa anasimama mbele ya Mungu Mungu hawe Musa hawe amekosea mbele ya Mungu Mungu hakuwa anaona hiyo lakini Musa akisimama mbele ya Mungu alikuwa anainua mikono sema wakati wana wa Israeli walalamika wakasema wakaambia Musa kwa nini ulitutoa katika Misiri na huko tulikuwa tunakula tunakunywa na tunakaa vizuri wacha turudi huko nikaona wakati Musa alienda mbele ya Mungu kumkuomba Mungu apatie wana wa Israeli chakula Musa alikuwa amekasirika lakini wakati aliomba mu, alienda alienda tu mbele ya Mungu Mungu alimwambia amesikia kilio cha wana wa Israeli na atawafanyia vile wanataka so wakati huo ni wakati walikuwa wamekaa bila kukula nyama mpaka wanaona maisha iendelee vizuri so Musa Mungu akamwambia atafanya wakati Musa wakati Mungu aliambiwa na Musa nitafanya Musa aliinua mikono mbele ya Mungu na akamwambia Mungu ni asanti so hiyo jambo ikanifundisha kwamba hata tuseme umemkosea Mungu imagine yeye Mungu aonangi kama umemkosea kwa sababu anasema yeye ndo ametuumba na ametumba kwa mfano wake na kwa kila jambo tuseme tumekosea tukiomba msamaha na tusamea lakini mimi hapo hiyo video vile niliona niliona Musa alikuwa aki tendewa kitu na Mungu kuhusu wana wa Israeli anainua tu mikono anamwambia Mungu ni asanti. Kwa hivyo hata nasi katika asubuhi ya leo sisi ndio wana wa Israeli wa wakati huu. Si ni ukweli? Tu, tujifundisha kumshukuru Mungu kwa kila jambo. Iwe jambo mzuri, iwe jambo mbaya, tumshukuru Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe na tutakuwa wakubarikiwa. Tutasoma maandiko ingine iliyoko katika Colossians 4 verse 2. Inasema hivi Devote yourselves to prayer be watchful and thankful Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tunjitoe katika maombi na tukeshe tukiomba Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tukeshe tukiomba na tuwe na shukrani ndani ya mioyo yetu kwa sababu wakati mwingine kuna tangazo maombi hapa kanisani unakuta wale watu wamejitokeza ni wachache si si, si eti ni kwa sababu ya hao watu wanapenda ni vile shetani anajua uki, ukinjitoa katika Mungu na ye, na umuombe Mungu Mungu atakufanyia. Sasa so, shetani atatumia mbinu zote kukuzuia usiweze kuingia katika maombi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na tukingundua mbinu ya shetani ni kuzuia watu wa Mungu wasiombe Mungu ndio mambo yafanyike, tutakuwa watu wa kujikaza hata katika hali ngani. Hata ukisikia umefinyika na mnangani tuseme kwa mangonjwa, utanjitoa na uende ukamwombe Mungu wako ama umuombe Mungu mahali ulipo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini wakati mwingi ukiwa mgonjwa uwezi omba si ni ukweli si, kuna wakati unafika mahali unasema sasa Mungu tu nisaidie lakini uwezi omba no wakati tunajitoa kwa Mungu hivyo ndivyo maandiko inasema tukeshe na, tu, na, na tuombe na tukue na mia ya shukurani Mungu atatutimizia bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe tutasoma maandiko ingine iliyoko katika Ephesians 5 verse 20 Inasema hivi Always giving thanks to God the Father 
for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Vanessa Sifiwe. Vanessa Sifiwe. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Vanessa Sifiwe. Katika kila njambo, tumushukuru mungu kwa sabi ya mungu ni mwaminifu. Wakati tunalitia njina la mungu, tunakuwa salama. Wakati tunakimbilia mungu, tunakuwa salama. Vanessa Sifiwe. Kwa hivyo tunjifundishe kulitia njina la buwana na maisha yetu itakuwa salama. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm, tutasoma maandiko ingine ya tuweze kusimama tuombe sasa. Iko katika Philippians 4 verse 6. Inasema hivi, do not be anxious about anything. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6 Inasema hivi Do not be anxious about ev anything But in everything by prayer and petition With thanksgiving Present yourself request, Present your requests to God Vanessa Sifiwe Vanessa Sifiwe sana Tu sinjisumbe kwa jambo lolote Vanessa Sifiwe Hama tusiwe na shaka ya jambo lolote Vanessa Sifiwe Bali tumushukuru mungu na tuwasilisha maitaji yetu mbele ya mungu. Vanessa sifiwe, Vanessa sifiwe, tusimame kwa mingu yetu. Tutaenda mbeleza mungu, tutamushukuru mungu, tutamuambia mungu ni asanti kwa yote ya metutendea. Simandiku inasema ya kwamba katika Psalms 100 verse 4, tuingie malangoni mwabwana na shukurani ndani ya mio yetu. Sini ukweli? Kitu ya kwanza tutafanya, tutamushukuru mungu, tumambia mungu ni asanti kwa yote ya metufanyia, tumambia mungu ni asanti kwa mbali ya metutoa na mbali ya metufikisha, tumiona wema wake na waminifu wake. Kukiendelea hapo pengine, tutamambia mungu ni asanti, tumekuwa na matoleo ya one month na tumeona mungu, ametupatia neema ya kutoa. Banesu wa sifiwe, tusichukuli ilo njambo ni kawaida. Sini ukweli? Tumuambie mungu ni asanti kwa sababu hiyo nema alitupatia, tukaweza kutoa pesa. Kwa sababu maybe pasta angetangaza mungu angetupatia nema atungeweza, sindio? Lakini nguvu ya mungu imetusaidia. Tukitoka hapo, tutamushukuru mungu kwa sababu ya watoto wetu. Leo tu kazi ni kushukuru. Hakuna kuombea maitaji. Sayota tunaendanga mbele ya mungu na maitaji mingi, mingi, mingi. Lakini leo tunamushukuru mungu. Tutamushukuru, we usiombe, we usiombe sikuwe na prayer request wewe kuwa na thanksgiving bana Yesu asifiwe na utaona vile Mungu atakufanyia tukiombea tutashukuru Mungu kwa vile ametutendea mambo makubwa kwa sababu ni mengi hatuwezi kuelezea hata kukuwa mzima uko na uwei wa bure uko na afya njema si kawaida ni neema kuna mtu hapa mali hata hawezi inua mkono lakini wewe Mungu amekuwezesha unaweza kuingia ekaluni mwake kwa hivyo tutakuwa na shukrani mbele ya Mungu vile Mungu ametutendea tutashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kutupatia ndeke ya kutoa katika mwezi mzima tutamshukuru Mungu tena kwa sababu ya watoto wetu walifunga shule umbali huu tumeona Mungu katika maisha yao hakuna mmoja wetu amejikwa katika njia zake tuseme wanaenda wanacheza wanarudi njioni tusichukulie hiyo jambo ni ya kawaida ama sisi wengine tunatoka tunawaacha tunarudi njioni tunawakuta wakiwa wazima hiyo si kawaida tuambie Mungu ni asante mali ametoa watoto wetu kutoka wafunge na mpaka mali wamefika ni vizuri tumshukuru Mungu alafu tukitoka hapo taombe ibada ya subu ya leo na Mungu atatubariki. Penda mbele za Mungu, jinsi Mungu atakavyo kusaidia mshukuru Mungu, mwambie ni asante kwa yote amekutendea, umbali amekutoa, umbali amekufikisha. Mwambie amekuwa njova nisi bendera ya ushindi wako kwa sababu amekushindania. Baba katika jina la Yesu wewe ni mwema na wewe ni umekuwa kimbilio umekuwa tengemeo umekuwa Mungu mwenye uweza wote bwana mabwana falme Mungu wa Israeli asubuhi ya leo 
tunalinua jina lako bwana wa majeshi tunakutukuza ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu uliyemwaminifu siku zote katika maisha yetu bwana wa mabwana jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe asubuhi ya leo mfalme Mungu wa Israeli katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni asante bwana kwa umbali umenitoa ni asante kwa umbali umenifikisha bwana wa majeshi umenilinda umenihifadhi bwana wa mabwana umenitenda mema mfalme Mungu wa Israeli jina lako litukuzwe Mungu wa rehema jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo ingekuwa ni nguvu zangu bwana wa mabwana singefika umbali u Jehova lakini kwa sababu ya neema yako mfalme Mungu wa Israeli umeniwezesha kufika umbali u Jehova jina lako litukuzwe bwana wa mabwana jina lako liabudiwe Mungu wa Israeli katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni asanti bwana wa mabwana kwa sababu ya njamii zetu mfalme Mungu wa Israeli vile ambavyo umetulinda vile ambavyo umetuhifadhi pokea sifa na heshima zote ni zako bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni kimbilio wewe ni tengemeo wewe ni msaada wa karibu wakati wa shida tumeona wema wako na uaminifu wako Mungu wa mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe bwana wa majeshi jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima kwa kuwa umekuwa Mungu mwema kwa kuwa umekuwa Mungu mwaminifu tunakushukuru kwa yote umetutendea tunakushukuru kwa yote umetenda katika jamii zetu tunakushukuru kwa yote umetenda katika tia yetu kama kanisa bwana wa mabwana umekuwa Mungu pamoja na umekuwa Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe uketia njuu mahali palipo inuka sana bwana wa mabwana mioyo yetu inakuabudu asubuhi ya leo mioyo yetu inakutukuza bwana wa mabwana maserafi makerubi wazai ishirini na waine na viumbe waine wenye uhai wanainama mbele ya kiti chako cha enzi na kuinuka wakisema mtakatifu ni wewe bwana Hivyo nasi asubuhi ya leo bwana wa majeshi tunaungana na maserafi na makerubi na wazee shirini na waine na viumbe waine wenye uhai ambao wanainama mbele ya kiti chako cha enzi na kuinuka wakisema mtakatifu ni wewe bwana hivyo asubuhi ya leo bwana wa majeshi pia yetu na shukrani mbele zako pia yetu na kuinua bwana wa mabwana kwa yale umetenda katika maisha yetu na hata kwa yale unjatenda bwana wa mabwana tungali tunakushukuru asubuhi ya leo mfalme Mungu wa Israeli tukijua ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu uliyemwaminifu siku zote winuliwe bwana wa majeshi asubuhi ya leo kuabudiwe Mungu wa Israeli katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni asante kwa wema na fadhili zako ni asante kwa uaminifu wako katika maisha yetu asubuhi ya leo umekuwa Mungu pamoja nasi umekuwa Immanueli Mungu pamoja nasi tumeona uaminifu wako bwana tumeona ukuu wako Jehova falme Mungu wa Israeli umekuwa msaada wa karibu umekuwa kimbilio la maisha yetu umekuwa tumaini la maisha yetu bwana wa mabwana umekuwa njova nisi bendera ya ushindi wa maisha yetu asubuhi ya leo tunakuinua asubuhi ya leo tunakuabudu asubuhi ya leo tunakupa sifa pokea sifa za mioyo yetu bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu mwenye nguvu Mungu mwenye uweza au jawaishindwa falme Mungu wa Israeli na ndio sababu ya kumbali tushindwe nasi katika subu ya leo bwana wa mabwana katika kusanyiko la watu wako bwana wa majeshi tunasema ni asante tunasema ni asante bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu mwema wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu uliyemwaminifu siku zote na utabaki kuwa Mungu wewe haumbandiliki wewe haulinganishwi na wewe ufananishwi na chochote kile asubuhi ya leo tunakuinua asubuhi ya leo tunakuabudu asubuhi ya leo tunakupa sifa pokea sifa na heshima zote ni zako bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni asante mfalme Mungu wa Israeli ni asante kwa wema wako ni asante kwa fadhili zako ni asante kwa uaminifu wako bwana wa mabwana katika maisha yetu tumekuona katika jamii zetu tumekuona na katika kanisa hili bwana wa majeshi tumekuona winuliwe uimidiwe bwana wa majeshi asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni nani aliye kama wewe bwana wa mabwana wewe ni Mungu na kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe jina lako lipewe sifa asubuhi ya leo jina 
jina lako aliabudiwe Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni nani aliye kama wewe asubuhi ya leo tukulinganishe na nini bwana wa mabwana wewe ulinganishwi wewe ufananishwi wewe peke yako ni mwaminifu jina lako litukuzwe jina lako lipewe sifa bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni asante bwana wa majeshi ni asante Mungu wa Israeli ni asante mfalme mwema katika jina la Yesu Kristo falme wa manini ya asante kwa kuwa kimbilio la maisha yetu ni asante kwa kuwa msaada wa karibu bwana wa mabwana wakati wote tumekukimbilia tumekuwa salama bwana wa majeshi hatutukuli jambo hilo kawaida ni neema yako bwana wa majeshi kwa kiasi fulani na heshima zote ni zako katika jina la Yesu Kristo asubuhi ya leo bwana wa majeshi wewe haulinganishwi wewe haufananishwi wewe peke yako ni mwaminifu wewe peke yako ni mtakatifu wewe peke yako ni Mungu liye mwaminifu siku zote yeye yetu inakuinua bwana wa majeshi yeye yetu inakutukuza mfalme Mungu wa Israeli bila wewe sisi hatungeweza bila nguvu zako hatungeweza bila neema yako mfalme Mungu wa Israeli hatungeweza kufika umbali huu lakini kwa sababu mkono wako umetubeba ndio sababu tumefika umbali huu jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni nani aliye kama wewe asubuhi ya leo wewe ni Mungu liye mwaminifu siku zote falme Mungu wa Israeli asubuhi ya leo katika kusanyiko la watu wako bwana wa mabwana tunakuabudu tunakuimidi tunakutukuza tunakuinua bwana wa majeshi tunakupa sifa za mioyo yetu zipokea asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe jina lako lipewe sifa jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo nani kama wewe asubuhi ya leo bwana wa mabwana hakuna Mungu aliye kama wewe hakuna Mungu kama wewe asubuhi ya leo keti ya njuma alipoinuka sana bwana tunazidi kukuinua tunazidi kukuabudu tunazidi kukutukuza tunazidi kukushukuru bwana wa mabwana kwa sababu ya uaminifu wako juu ya maisha yetu winuliwe wimidiwe ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu ni asante bwana wa mabwana falme wa mani tumekuwa na ngivi kuanzia first march falme wa mani mpaka wakati kama huu tumeona wema wako tumeona uaminifu wako Mungu wa mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo nasi tumekuja mbele zako bwana wa mabwana kama kanisa mfalme Mungu wa Israeli ya usofe ili Jehova tukiwa na shukrani ndani ya mioyo yetu kwa yale umetutendea bwana wa mabwana jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe milele jina lako linuliwe bwana wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Kristo falme Mungu wa Israeli kama sio wewe kwa upande wetu hatungeweza bwana wa mabwana kama sio neema yako mfalme Mungu wa Israeli hatungeweza mfalme mwema ni asante ni kwa sababu ya neema yako ni asante ni kwa sababu ya nguvu zako ni asante ni kwa sababu ya kimbali umetupa jina lako lipewe sifa jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu liye mwaminifu siku zote falme wa amani ni asante kwa kuwa wewe ni mwema ni asante kwa kuwa wewe ni mwaminifu umekuwa mwema katika maisha yetu bwana wa mabwana falme Mungu wa Israeli katika giving tumeona wema wako katika giving tumeona uaminifu wako Mungu wa mbinguni kama sio nguvu zako bwana wa majeshi hatungeweza kufika umbali huu bwana wa mabwana na hatungeweza kupata fedha ambazo tumepata bwana wa majeshi winuliwe wimidiwe ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu bwana wa majeshi ni asante ni asante kwa wema wako, ni asante kwa fadhili zako, ni asante kwa uaminifu wako bwana wa majeshi. Jina lako litukuzwe, jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Falme wa amani asubuhi ya leo, umekuwa njoba nisi bendera ya ushindi wa maisha yetu bwana wa mabwana. Ushindi wako tumeuona Jehova. Maandiko nasema ya kwamba tukakushukuru kwa kila jambo. Nasi tuko mbele zako asubuhi ya leo 
tunakushukuru bwana wa majeshi tunakuinua mfalme Mungu wa ajabu tunakutukuza bwana wa majeshi asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni nani aliye kama wewe Mungu wangu mfalme wa amani umekuwa mwema tumekuwa tukikukimbilia tunakuwa salama bwana wa majeshi hivyo mioyo yetu inakuinua yeyote inakuabudu bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni asante kwa neema ambayo umepatia kila mmoja wetu bwana wa majeshi hatuchukuli kawaida bwana wa mabwana umekuwa Mungu mwaminifu umekuwa Mungu mwenye nguvu umekuwa Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe jina lako lipewe sifa jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima bwana wa majeshi asubuhi ya leo mioyo yetu imejaa shukrani mbele zako bwana wa majeshi tunatoa shukrani zetu mbele zako Usipokea ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu. Jina lako linuliwe asubuhi ya leo. Jina lako liabudiwe Mungu wa majeshi. Jina lako lipewe sifa Bwana wa mabwana. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, ni nani aliye kama wewe Mungu wangu? Jina lako litukuzwe. Jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, wewe ni mwema, wewe ni mwaminifu, wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu, wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza ndio yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe natawala kwa nguvu na uweza umetutawala Mungu wa mbinguni jina lako linuliwe jina lako limidiwe bwana wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu uliyemwaminifu siku zote wewe ni Mungu mumba wa vyote ulituumba tukakuabudu bwana na si asubuhi leo tunakuinua asubuhi ya leo tunakuimidi asubuhi ya leo tunakutukuza katika jina la Yesu ni nani aliye kama wewe asubuhi ya leo bwana wa mabwana falme Mungu wa Israeli umekuwa Mungu mwema umekuwa Jehovah Jireh wa provider Mwenyezi Mungu asubuhi ya leo tuseme nini mbele zako ila tu ni kusema ni asante ni asante bwana wa majeshi ni asante Mungu wa Israeli katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza
lakini hawajaamuka sisi umetuamsha bwana wa mabona jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe milele mungu wa uzima bwana wa mabona mungu mwenye nguvu tunalinua jina lako asubu ya leo mwenyezi mungu tunakuinua mwenyezi mungu tunakuabudu mwenyezi mungu tunakutukuza kwa kuwa wewe ni mungu mwaminifu jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe milele mungu wa uzima falme Mungu wa Israeli watoto wetu ni mikononi mwako bwana wa mabona umewalinda umewahifadhi katika mwezi mzima bwana wa majeshi hivyo atuchukulie kawaida ni neema yako ni mkono wako umetumewabeba e Yesu mwana wa Mungu pokea sifa za mioyo yetu kama wazazi pokea shukrani za mioyo yetu kama wazazi katika jina la Yesu Kristo umewalinda umewahifadhi falme wa amani wanapocheza umekuwa Mungu pamoja nao umewalinda na mitego yote ya ibilisi aliyokuwa amewategea falme Mungu wa Israeli watoto wetu ni wazima ni kwa sababu ya neema yako utukufu na heshima ni za kwa subu ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu mwenye nguvu Mungu mwenye uweza bila wewe sisi hatuwezi bila nguvu zako watoto wetu hawawezi bila wewe hatuwezi jambo lolote na bila roho mtakatifu wako Mungu wa mbinguni sisi hatuwezi wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe jina lako lipewe sifa jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya bila umetenda watoto wetu jina lako linuliwe jina lako limbiniwe bwana wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu ni asante kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu ya mwaminifu siku zote ibada yetu asubuhi ya leo twaiweka mikononi mwako bwana wa mabona tunakushukuru tunakuinua tunakuabudu tunakutukuza ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu ya mwaminifu siku zote jina lako linuliwe jina lako limbiniwe bwana wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu mwenye nguvu Mungu mwenye uweza hakuna Mungu kama wewe asubuhi ya leo tunalika utatu wa mbingu katika ibada ya asubuhi ya leo bila wewe Mungu sisi hatuwezi tunakualika roho mtakatifu wa Mungu utatu wa mbingu tunawalika katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo hey Yesu tunakualika uwe mgeni mheshimiwa katika tiki yetu asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila njambo utakalo litenda katika ukumbi huu ama katika kusanyiko la watu wako bwana wa mabwana tunaomba ikakumbalike mbele zako katika jina la Yesu Kristo falme Mungu wa Israeli tunakualika utawale na utamalaki kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu kokote Yesu ulienda ulitenda mema ukitutembelea katika ibada ya subu ya leo bwana wa majeshi utatenda mema katika jina la Yesu jina lako linuliwe jina lako limbiniwe jina lako litukuzwe bwana wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Kristo hatuwezi bila wewe bwana wa mabwana hatuwezi bila nguvu zako hatuwezi bila uwepo wako bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo Musa akasema ya kwamba bila uwepo wako yeye hawezi kuondoka e Yesu mwana wa Mungu asubuhi ya leo bila uwepo wako sisi hatuwezi tunaomba uwepo wako katika kati yetu asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu mwema na wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu mwema na wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hatuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe pokea sifa za mioyo yetu kwa maana katika ibada yetu ya subu ya leo tutakuona falme amani kuanzia hadi tamati falme mwema tunaomba kuongozwa na wewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo uinuliwe asubuhi ya leo uimidiwe ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo falme amani kila ombi na kila ndua ambao tumeleta mbele zako kuhusu kushukuru mbele zako mfalme wa amani tunaomba ikakumbalike mbele zako katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe tutafanya ombi moja kwa dakika mbili na hiyo ombi tutafanya ni tutafanya kwa sababu ya pasta wetu si tunajua 
hiyo habari ya wana wa Israeli njinzi Musa alivyoongoza wana wa Israeli kuongoza watu wazima si rahisi inakuwa ni kibarua lakini ukiwa na Mungu ndani yako Mungu anakusaidia so tutaenda mbele za Mungu tumuinue mtumishi wa Mungu mikononi mwa Mungu siku siku muombea mahitaji tushukuru Mungu mahali tumefika akiwa kiongozi wetu si ndio tumwambie Mungu ni asante kwa kutupatia mchungaji ambaye amekuwa baba yetu wa kiro tumwambie Mungu ni asante hata kwa kumulinda na kumuhifadhi akumsimamisha sifa na heshima zimrudie Mungu kwa sababu ya mali amemfikisha kwa sababu wakati wana wa Israeli Musa alikuwa anawaongoza mara mingi walikuwa wanamkasirisha na wakimkasirisha kuna mali alifika akaambia Mungu amchukue kana Yesu asifiwe sisi tushukuru Mungu kwa sababu mchungaji wetu atafika mahali pale hata tuongoza afike mahali aseme Mungu amuondoe bwana Yesu asifiwe leo nilikuwa nimesema kwa wale wamefika baadaye ni siku ya kushukuru sio siku ya kuleta mahitaji mbele ya Mungu leo ni siku ya kumshukuru Mungu uwe umeomba amekutendea uwe umeomba anja kutendea atambaki kitu kukua Mungu hakuna siku ataondoka katika kiti chake akae mahali pengine akuwe si Mungu eti kwa sababu anja kutendea so leo ilikuwa siku ya kushukuru tutaenda mbele za Mungu tutamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya mtumishi wa Mungu mali Mungu amemfikisha katika hii kazi kwa sababu ikwangi kazi rais lakini ukiwa na Mungu na nguvu za Mungu zikiwa ndani yako utashinda enda mbele za Mungu njizi Mungu atakavyokusaidia kuombea pasta wako wewe ndio unajua vile utamuombea baba katika jina la Yesu wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe jina lako linuliwe jina lako limidiwe Mungu wa Israeli katika jina la Yesu Kristo asubuhi ya leo yetu iko na shukrani mbele zako kwa sababu ya vile umelinda mtumishi wako bwana wa mabwana pastor Sam amekuwa baba yetu wa kiro na umemuongoza mfalme wa amani tangu huduma hii ilipoanza bwana wa majeshi amekuwa kituongoza bwana wa mabwana na umekuwa Mungu wa kumsimamisha umemulinda pamoja na jamii yake umewasimamisha Mungu wa mbinguni jina lako linuliwe jina lako limidiwe bwana wa mabwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo na katika subu ya leo bwana wa mabwana katika kusanyiko la watu wako tunasema ni asante tunasema ni asante kwa yale umemtenda bwana wa mabwana umemsimamisha mfalme Mungu wa Israeli umemtia nguvu siku baada ya nyingine umempatia neema siku baada ya nyingine bwana wa mabwana umempa kimbali mbele zako bwana wa mabwana jina lako linuliwe Mungu wa Israeli jina lako liabudiwe milele bwana wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Kristo hivyo katika subu ya leo sisi kama kanisa bwana wa mabwana tunashukurani mbele zako Mungu wa mbinguni kwa yale umetenda mtumishi wako bwana wa mabwana jina lako linuliwe jina lako limidiwe bwana wa mabwana ni asante kwa neema umempa ya kutuongoza kama kanisa falme Mungu wa Israeli wewe ni Mungu liye mwaminifu siku zote bwana wa majeshi winuliwe uiminiwe ni kwa sababu umekuwa Mungu mwema umekuwa Mungu mwaminifu umekuwa Mungu mwenye nguvu umekuwa Mungu mwenye uweza kando yako hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe siku zote utambaki kuwa Mungu katika milima katika mambonde katika maji mengi bwana wa majeshi katika maisha yake utambaki kuwa Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza ni asanti kwa hiyo safari ambayo umemshindania kufika hapo bwana wa mabwana jina lako litukuzwe jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima ni asante ni kwa sababu utazidi kumulinda utazidi kumuhifadhi na utazidi kumsimamisha bwana wa mabwana kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu jina lako litukuzwa asubuhi ya leo jina lako liabudiwe milele Mungu wa uzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu amwaminifu asubuhi ya leo wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu bwana wa majeshi wewe ni Mungu mwenye mamlaka yote ya duniani na hata ya mbinguni bwana wa majeshi na wewe ndiye umetenda ya mfalme mwema uinuliwe uimidiwe ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu bwana wa majeshi ni asante ni kwa sababu ni wengi wameanza huduma na wengine wamezifunga bwana wa majeshi wengine walianzisha na wakakimbia wakazi wacha mfalme mwema lakini pasa wetu umemsaidia falme Mungu wa Israeli nguvu zako zimekuwa nguvu zake maishani falme Mungu wa Israeli asubuhi ya leo winuliwe asubuhi ya leo uimidiwe asubuhi ya leo utukuzwe kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu jina lako lipewe sifa asubuhi ya leo jina lako liabudiwe kwa yale umetenda bwana wa mabwana mioyo yetu inakuinua mioyo yetu inakuabudu 
Mio yetu imejaa shukrani zako bwana wa majeshi pokea shukrani za mio yetu asubuhi ya leo kwa yale umetenda katika jina la Yesu Kristo uinuliwe wimidiwe ndipo sababu wewe ni Mungu Tuamini tuombe Baba katika jina la Yesu wewe ni mwema na wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwenye nguvu na wewe ni Mungu mwenye uweza ni asanti kwa hicho kipindi kimepita cha intercessor bwana wa mabwana umekuwa Mungu pamoja nasi jina lako linuliwe jina lako limidiwe bwana wa mabwana kwa sababu bila wewe hatungeweza kwa sababu bila nguvu zako hatungeweza umekuwa Mungu pamoja nasi umekuwa kimbilio umekuwa tengemeo bwana wa mabwana hivyo tunakuinua ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu na ni wewe ambao umetuwezesha kufika hapa jina lako linuliwe jina lako limidiwe bwana wa majeshi ndikwaidi tukimatamatisha pamoja na wewe sifa na heshima tutazirudisha kwako pokea sifa za mio yetu asubuhi ya leo kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu na umetutenda haya bwana wa mabwana hivyo tunakualika roho mtakatifu wa Mungu utatu wa mbingu tunawalika katika ibada ya asubuhi ya leo roho mtakatifu wa Mungu tawala roho mtakatifu wa Mungu tamalaki roho mtakatifu wa Mungu jidhirishe kwetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ni Mungu mwema na wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu na ni katika jina la Yesu tumomba na pia tumeshukuru kila mtu aseme amen. Tu karibisha pasta wetu kwa magofi. Amen. Want you. Amen. Let's appreciate God one more time. Amen. God bless you. You may have your blessed seed in Jesus name. Um Najua kwamba sisi zote ni viongozi either ni kanisani katika familia pale tumetoka kazini all of us tumeshikilia na kwa hivyo asubuhi ya leo nikaona ya kwamba ni vyema na ni muhimu ya kwamba tukaweza kushiriki hili neno na inajua kwamba kupitia neno hili tutabarikiwa sisi kama viongozi kwa sababu all of us kuna kitu ambayo tunataka kuona katika maishani mwetu katika familia zetu na katika huduma na katika kila sehemu ambayo tuko kama viongozi na basi asubuhi ya leo ningetaka kushiriki ama niweze tuweze kushare mkate huu ambao ninauita the power of sacrificial giving the power of sacrificial giving ah uh, ningetaka kwanza nika define what is sacrificial giving sacrificial giving sacrificial giving is giving beyond our means it is giving beyond our means sacrificial giving kila wakati ambapo unasikia sacrificial giving ujue kwamba huyo mtu ameweza kutoa bila kubakisha is giving beyond our means it is not giving beyond our abilities sacrificial giving is be giving beyond our abilities and people of god ni vizuri kuweza kujua vile ambavyo ufalme wa Mungu unafanya kazi kwa sababu tuko na ufalme wa hapa duniani na uko na sheria zake na uko na kanuni zake na kuna vile ufalme huu hapa duniani unafanya kazi and also in the kingdom of god ama ufalme wa Mungu and all of us ambao tumeokoka tumeweza kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Na ufalme wa Mungu kuna kitu ambayo inaitwa sacrifice au sacrificial giving. 
Meaning ya kwamba vitu hazi just thing don't just happen but there must be a sacrificial giving. And so we can define uh, sacrificial giving as giving beyond our means and there's a lot of commotion. Giving beyond our means and giving beyond our, our bearing. Now, God is an example and a good example. The Bible says in the book of John 3 and verse 16, is a verse that all of us we know. John 3 16. God gave sacrificiary. And God gave Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, God gave sacrificially, giving beyond. John 3 16, the Bible is saying, For God so loved the world that He gave. That is, giving sacrificially that he gave his one and only son. The Bible talks about his one and only son. Meaning ya kuamba hakuwa na muingine ambaye akaseba kuamba wacha nitoe huyu ni bakishe huyu apana hakuwa na muingine alikuwa na moja peke yake. Na huyo moja ambaye alikuwa nae Huyo diambaye alitoa. That what we call sacrificial giving. Yani unatoa bida kubakisha. Another one example is Macedonian church. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 3. Macedonian church. Whereby you give beyond your ability. For I testify that they give as much as they were able and even beyond their ability. Mini ya kwamba kanisa hila Makedonia ire dhabihu na sadaka ambayo walitoa haikuwa sadaka tu hivo hivo but it was Sacrificial giving. They gave beyond their ability. Ya kwamba zile vitu ambazo walikuwa wanazileta kwenye madhabahu. Zile vitu ambazo waliangusha kwenye miguza mitume. Hata wakati ambapo mitume wanaangalia wale watu. Wanajuliza. Sasa hizi vitu umetoa ni kitu gani ambao umebakisha. Hakuna kitu ambayo walibakisha. Walitoa zote. Sacrificial giving. Na wakuwa na uwezo. Maybe hata wengine walikuwa na kabran ketika moja. Mana kanisa hira Makedonia. Walikuwa na umasikini wa hali ya juu. Lakini vile ambavyo walitoa. Hata wengine walitoa walileta viti za nyumba. Hakuna kitu ambayo walibakisha kwa nyumba. Walileta zote. Giving, sacrificial giving. Another example. Yule mwanamki ambaye is a widow. Ambaye alitoa in the book of Mark 12. Mark 12. And verse 41 and 44. Sacrificial giving. The power of sacrificial giving. Mark 12. Verse 41 and verse 44. Jesus sat down the praise where the offering were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. And the Bible says, many rich people drew in range amount. But a poor widow came and put into very small copper coin was only a fraction of a penny. 
calling his disciples to him. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all, they all gave out of their wealth. But she, out of her poverty, put in everything. All she had to live on. Mini akwamba, mwanamke hu, ile sadaka ambayo alitoa, ili yeshimika, ili kubalika, kwa sababu in the kingdom of God, si mambo na wingi, lakini ile kitu ambayo ufali mehu ambayo tukondani, wanaangalia sana, ni sadaka ambayo unatoa, is it a sacrificial giving? Eso kuna wengi ambao walikuja na walikuwa matajiri na Yesu wako pale anawaangalia vile ambavyo wanatoa sadaka zao na matajiri wakaja wengine wakaandika check wengine walikuja ikiwa na cash wakaweka pale kwenye saduku the treasury box lakini Yesu akaangalia mwanamke ambaye alitoa zote ambazo alikuwa nazo na ikabidi aite wanafunzi wake na waambie ukweli ya kwamba nimeangalia vile watu wametoa sadaka hapa na nimeona matajiri lakini kuna mwanamke mmoja mimi ya kwamba huyo mwanamke ndiye ambaye aliyetoa mingi ama ule mwanamke ndio ambayo sadaka yake ilikubalika and it please god sacrificial giving is what you do to is what you do is what you do to destroy the devastating plan against your life and the future sacrificial giving is what you do to destroy the devastating plan against your life and future. People of God, we are born again. We are of the kingdom of God. Na tuko na tumaini, tutamuwa na kriso, tuko na uzima. Hakuna ambaye atakaye kufa. But people of God we need to understand ya kwamba na usijo kafikia kwamba unapendeza shetani. So because of that kila siku kuna vile ambavyo anapanga against your life against your future. Yaani aone ya kwamba Hujaona mwisho wako. Hujamalizia vizuri. Kazi yake ni ku make sure kwamba vile ambavyo atapinga either ni huduma ama ile kazi ambayo unafanya. And so because of that as a child of God you need to understand ya kwamba kuna kitu ambayo naweza kufanya ambayo inaweza kuharibu kila ufalme ama kazi ambayo inafanywa na ufalme wa giza and this is sacrificial giving and i want to say these people of god ya kwamba there is only one thing that destroy the devastating plan of the enemy against our life and future and this is sacrificial giving First Corinthians chapter 21 First Corinthians chapter 21 First Corinthians chapter 21 We can start verse 18 We can start verse 18 up to 24 
And the Bible says, First Corinthians chapter 18. Come in, Anane. Give me verse 18. Oh, you are there? Okay. Then the angel of the Lord ordered God to tell David to go up and build an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Arauna the Jebusite. And so David went up in obedience to the word that God had spoken in the name of the Lord. While Arauna was threshing wheat, he turned and saw the angel, his four son who were with him, hid himself. Then David approached. And when Arauna looked and saw him, he left the threshing floor and bowed down before David with his face to the ground. David said to him, Let me have the sight of your threshing floor so I can build an altar to the Lord that the plague on the people may be stopped. Sell it to me at the full price. Arauna said to David, Take it. Let the Lord, the king, do whatever pleases him. Look, I will give the oxen for the burnt offering, the threshing threads for the wood, and the wheat. For the grain offering, I will give all these. But King David replied to Arauna, No, I insist on paying the full price at a sacrificial giving. I insist on paying the full price. I will not take for the Lord what is yours or sacrifice a burnt offering that cost me nothing. Meaning kwamba kuna dhabihu ambayo unatoa ya kuweza kuhalibu kazi na mpango wa shetani. And so David is an example and he was ready to give sacrificially full amount the sight ambayo atajenga madhabahu na kuweza kusimamisha kazi yote ya ufalme wa giza ambayo shetani alikuwa anapanga ama na, anapanga kwa sababu ya watu wa Mungu lakini naamini kwamba this man called David angeamua tu atavute pahali tu hivyo hivyo tu na ajege madhabahu lakini alijua kwamba to be able to destroy the plan of the enemy, lazima kuwe na sacrificial giving. Ya kwa mato itu sadaka chu, na kini ni kitu ambayo itamgalimu. And I, saw, I also thank God. Ya kwa I think I said on, um, on uh, Thursday, kipo kuwa tu kiyomba. Nikasema on Thursday, I had a good time and... Uh, Roho Mungu akawa na ananizungumzia na kuna mambo ambayo alikuwa akinisaidia na kunifahamisha vile ambavyo ufalme wa giza unapanda maovu unapanda destruction in the life of believers na unapanda namna gani unapanda wakati mwingine kupitia ndoto wakati ambapo tumelala na wakati ambapo tumelala mwili huu wanga bado umetulia haufanyi kazi na hata mawazo yametulia it is only the spirit 
That is a lot. Na wakati mwingine ufalme wa Giza unapata nafasi ya kupanda maovu. And by the way, wale watu wengi ambao ugojeka. Watu wengi ugojeka usiku. And that is the reason why sometimes saa hii enda enda hospitali saa hii asubuhi. Ndio utapata watu wengi wameenda asubuhi. We ni ngumu sana uone ati mtu ameenda hospitali saa nane. ama siji saa Sa saba hapo sa sa kumi is very hard. Watu wengi huenda hospitali asubuhi. Kwa sababu gani? Usiku walipokuwa wamelala ufalme wa giza because sickness is not from God, is from the enemy. Mimi ya kwamba kuna mambo ambayo ufalme wa giza unapanda usiku wakati watu wamelala. Na baadaye unapoamka asubuhi unahisi kwamba mwili wako uko na uchungu uko na maumivu kuna wengine ambao asubuhi wanaamka wanaangalia miili yao wako na alama kwa mwili wengine wanahizi uchungu ama uchovu ndani ya mwili wao wanashindwa wanalikulala tu kuna mambo ambayo ufalme wa giza unapanda na kwa hivyo roho wa Mungu anasema kwamba Kuna kitu ambayo tunaweza kufanya to uproot kile kitu ambacho ufalme wa giza umepanda in our life in the life of believers I tell you this morning ya kwamba right now kuna watu ambao wanapitia mambo mangumu na mambo mazito lakini haya mambo ambayo saa hii wanaona katika ulimwengu wa kuona ilifanywa katika ufalme wa giza mambo yakapandwa and then baadaye yaka happen uh, in a physical and so the lord akanisaidia kwamba just 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 kama kama vile ambavyo tunafundisha asubuhi ya leo ya kwamba mambo kama haya hayatolewi tu na maombi ya wakati ambapo unakula chakula cha jioni ama saa saba. oh god i thank you for the food na uniondolee maovu yote ambayo shetani amepandwa ama ya fruit every work of the enemy and then baadaye within a second umeshamaliza sacrificial giving and that is why i said kulingana na vile roho wa Mungu alisaidia kwamba this coming thursday tutafanya we are going to give sacrificially Ya kwamba tunakuja hapa asubuhi just one day sacrificial giving five up to six just to worship the lord to give god thanks for who he is and on daytime we are going to have one uh, there's a 12 hours dry fasting for 12 hours paka six and we are going to uproot Chochote ambacho shetani alipanda ila ni umasikini alipanda ile divorce ambayo ilipandwa even sometimes against our children I think I will teach you more on on Thursday Sacrificial giving is this praising yourself to please God Sacrificial giving is this praising yourself to please God. Sijui kama kuna siku ambayo you know you dispraised yourself. Kuna wakati mwingine ambao I think na nakumbuka vizuri kulikuwa ni wakati wa Krismasi. Na kuna mtu ambaye aliniomba ngari wakati wa Krismasi. Na wakati mwingine uanga I think niko na hiyo shida ya kusema no. Na kwa hivyo waliponioba ngari nikamwambia ni sawa na nikampatia gari. Na kulikuwa ni wakati wa Christmas. Na pia sisi tulikuwa tunaenda bado Christmas. Lakini gari nimeshapeana gari imeenda. And so 25 morning so nikampatia on 24th. And now 25 26 arudisha 28. So 25 tumeamka tunaenda Christmas lakini gari hatuna. Gari nimeshapeana. And so 
tunachukua matatu mafahamu nauliza sasa tunachukua matatu namna gani na gari umesha peana na so sometimes sacrificial giving is whereby you despise yourself to please god and sometimes we please people we please people but we need to do this sacrificial giving whereby you displease yourself and lastly sacrificial giving is an issue and common excellent i was turning painful giving is an issue and common excellent i was turning painful and extraordinary giving that cost you much in order to attract the attraction of god toward your life giving an issue and common excellence i was standing painful and extraordinary giving that cost you much in order to attract the attraction of god toward your life you want to attract god in your life i want to request you this morning just give sacrificially just give sacrificially now something to note we call them nb note better nb sacrifice is a foundation of every power sacrifice is the foundation of every power the bihu ni msingi wa nguvu zote na sasa hii uangalie wale watu ambao wako na nguvu whether they are powerful in politics in business in the ministry ama katika ile hali yote ambayo unajua their foundation ama msingi wao it is sacrifice kuna dhabihu ambayo wanatoa hata wale watu ambao tunawaona wakati mwingine wame keep fit vizuri yani wana mtu wako sawa msingi wake it is sacrifice unapata wengine asubuhi watu wakiwa wamelala ako kwenye uwanja anakimbia sacrifice lakini mwingine bado amelala lakini analia huu mwili umekuwa mkubwa sana siwezi kupumua lakini mwingine anatoa dhabihu sacrifice is a foundation of every power people of god i believe over of us we have a desire to be powerful sacrifice is a foundation and number two, there is no greatness without sacrifice there is no greatness without sacrifice hakuna mtu yote ambaye ni mkubwa ambaye hakutoa dhabihu ana sasa saa hii kuna wale ambao ni mapolitician saa hii kuna ile dhabihu ambayo wanatoa dhabihu ya wakati wao hata kuna wengine ambao walikuwa CS wali design they sacrifice walikuwa na kazi mzuri na hawajui kama watarudi hawana habari lakini wanaamua naacha hii kazi naingia kwenye uwanja wa siasa is a sacrifice because there is no greatness without sacrifice every desire of a man to be accomplished is by sacrifice every desire na tuko na desire tunatumaini na ma tunatumaini ya Mungu afanye hivi ah kuolewa na mke mzuri bwana mzuri kuwa na watoto wazuri kuwa na nyumba mzuri kuwa na vitu mzuri 
all of us we have desires na hili hili desire zote ziweze kutimia it is by sacrifice lazima lazima utoe bila kubakisha lazima kuwe na uchungu wakati ambapo unatoa sacrificial giving number four. sacrificial giving is birthed by love sacrificial giving is birthed by love ukiona mtu ambaye anatoa sacrificially bila kubakisha ukiona mtu ambaye anatoa na sadaka yake ama kutoa kwake kuna uchungu jua kwamba hiyo sadaka ama hiyo sacrifice imezaliwa na upendo if there is no love there is no sacrificial giving that what the bible saying john 3:16 number when for god so love the world so number one is love for god so love the world kitu ya kwanza mungu alifanya ni kupenda ulimwengu akapenda ulimwengu akatupenda number two, akatoa mwana wake wa pekee akatoa sacrificially mimi ya kwamba sacrificial giving is birthed through love that's why kuna watu ambao tunawatolea sadaka ama tunawatolea sacrificially for example ila ni wakati wa harusi unapata watu wanaamka asubuhi na mapema hata saa kumi. lakini huyo mtu wakati mwingine yeye huamka saa moja ama saa mbili. lakini kwa sababu ya upendo wa huyo dugu na huyo dada anaamka asubuhi na mapema anajitolea anaacha watoto wakiwa wamelala anaacha bwanake akiwa amelala anamwekea chai pale ni kwa sababu ya upendo first of all anapenda ule dada anapenda ule dugu and then number two anatoa ama ni mazishi unapata kwamba mtu anaweza kujitolea wiki mzima ama wiki mbili yako pale anakalisha ule mama au ule mzee it is giving sacrificially sa sacrifice kuwa na mtu wiki mzima sa sacrifice na uko na watoto wako kuna nyumba yako lakini asubuhi unaenda kwa kwa jirani unakaa pale is a sacrifice you're giving kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ya upendo lakini kama hauna upendo unaenda shughuli zako na unaulizia tu bado watu wanayekutana eh wanakutana na kwa hivyo is good to understand ya kwamba sacrificial giving inazaliwa na upendo so if you love maisha yako na watoto wako sacrificial giving will not be a problem that why also in where we led second corinthians 8:5 also second corinthians 8 verse 5 as they did not do as we expected but they gave themselves first to the lord and then to us in keeping with god wills the bible saying kwamba kanisa la makedonia walitoa sacrificially but first they loved god walijipeana kwa Mungu. And then baadaye haikuwa rahisi kuleta vitu zote kwa kwa, kwa madhabahu na kwenye miguu ya mitume ni kwa sababu wako na upendo. People of God, if you love God, if you love God, giving sacrificially haiwezi kuwa ngumu. Even to be in the presence of God for one hour and worship the Lord or to kneel down for one hour haitakuwa ngumu na hiyo kupiga magoti one hour is a sacrificial 
giving imezaliwa na upendo ni kwa sababu unampenda huyu Mungu bila ambavyo ameku amekufanya and i believe also tunatamani kuona maisha mazuri katika maisha yetu so we can give sacrificially sometimes tunajiuliza sasa mimi sina pesa ya kutoa sacrificially sasa hii sina pesa ya kutoa sacrificially ah let me tell you we talk about sacrificial giving i'm not talking about money you can give also your time time you can give your time wakati wako that is sacrificial giving you can also give your body nani ambaye ana mwili hapa all of us tuko na mwili you can give your body as a sacrificial giving romans chapter 12 and verse 1 romans chapter 12 and verse 1 therefore as your brothers in view of god mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and pleasing to god this is your spiritual act of worship meaning ya kwamba sio hela tu lakini unaweza kutoa mwili wako kama dhabihu dhabihu iliyo hai you know wakati mwingine unaona mtu aki worship god unaona huyu hakitu, hakuna kitu ambayo amebakisha ametoa zote amejitoa that is sacrificial giving lakini kuna sometimes kuna jiwekea room a reservation room hatutaki kujitoa tunazuia kwa sababu gani kwa sababu maybe for example tuko some makeup mavazi mazuri inatuzuia kwamba hatuwezi kuinama hatuwezi kujitoa people of god one of the thing ambayo inapendeza Mwenyezi Mungu it is sacrificial giving Yaani unatoa bila kubakisha. Unatoa zote. So you can give your body. You can give your time. And also you can give your money. Can I give a result of sacrificial giving? A result of sacrificial giving. Na pia watoto wetu, familia zetu, ndoa zetu, hata wale ambao wanapanga kuoa na kuolewa. Let me tell you. Usikubali kuingia kwa ndoa kama hujatoa dhabihu ambayo inakugalimu dhabihu ambayo inakufanya yani unakuwa na pain usijaribu kuingia <laughs> hey juzi tulikuwa na pastor hapa i think um, on sunday uh, pastor um, pastor chege anaanza huduma i think uh, next sunday akawa ananiambia vile ambavyo amekuwa maombi ana anaenda fasting akirudi akikaa one week anarudi tena kwenye maombi sacrificial giving anatoa mwili wake kwa sababu gani kwa sababu kuna ushindi ambayo anatamani kuona nikamwambia bado wakati ambao nilikuwa nikianza tukianza huduma hii i think for almost one year ile mara ambayo nilifunga ilikuwa mingi sana and i remember there is one pastor ambaye anisemamisha na akaniuliza kwani uko uko mgonjwa nikamuuliza kwa nini ai na akaniambia umeisha sana but i knew one thing ya kwamba ni sawa wacha bado niishe but ni kuna sadaka ambayo natoa people of god najua tunatamani sana hata kuwa na doa mzuri bwana mzuri lakini wote ni kuambie we are of a kingdom of god sisi na ufalme wake Mwenyezi Mungu hatuwezi kuingia tu mambo kienyeji kienyeji kwa sababu umeona dada mzuri kijana mzuri oh akifanya hivi akifanya hivi ah 
kuwa na wakati jitoe toa mwili wako sacrificial giving kitu ambayo itakufanya uwe na pain kwa sababu ya huyo dada ama huyo dugu and let me tell you god will give you victory lakini unajua siku hizi watu hawataki kutoa sadaka ambayo itawagalimu watu hawataki kutoa sadaka ambayo it is painful lakini tunatamani maisha mazuri let me tell you in this life in the kingdom of god it is not kama ile ya pesa pub ama unafinya button mambo ina happen lazima tutoe sadaka ambayo itatugarimu now result of sacrificial giving kuna mambo ambayo itatendeka wakati ambapo unaamua and i mean people of god you can do this even once in a month you decide that i want to offer a sacrificial giving whether you are giving your body or you are giving your time even in your house unaweza kuamua kwamba leo sitalala sitalala sacrificial giving like for me saturday night miss dalangi nakatu pale tu watoto wamelala haifa mela uko tu pale tu sacrificial giving uko tu macho and then saturday morning you want to minister sacrificial giving result of sacrificial giving number one, harvest of joy harvest of joy harvest of joy let me let me let me let me give you an example of a sacrificial giving now kuna pesa sasa hii kwa pesa ngapi sasa hii kwa mfuko ama kwa mpesa aya so for example eh, kuna 600 sasa hii kwa mpesa 600 yani nimwambie kwamba ama Mungu amwambia kwamba hiyo 600 na amepangia hiyo 600 ndio ranch 200 and then 400 ndio sapa alafu amue ya kwamba i want to give yani atoe hiyo 600 na hiyo anatoa 600 anaipatia jina i want to give sacrificially atoe 600 let me tell you ujamaa akitoa 600 hiyo ataitoa akili ya machozi kwa sababu anajua sina ingine na for sure hiyo ndio ilikuwa lunch na niko na watoto na niko na, na pia sapa so ataitoa akiwa analia mach, machozi now do you know what the bible is saying when talk about harvest of joy in the book of uh, psalm 126 and verse 5 psalm 126 and verse 5 psalm 126 and verse 5 those and, and, and when uh, it is bible this is not me it is bible so don't be deceived ni mimi nimesema it is a bible those who sow in tears is sacrificial giving yani unaenda kanisani saa 11 unajua unaweza kufeelaje ukienda kanisani saa 11 ukiwa kwa stage saa 11 ama saa 10 uko kwa stage unagojea gari atunaenda kanisani of course kuna ule uchungu kuna kilio wengine wakiwa wamelala lakini wewe uko kwa stage unagojea matatu the bible say those who sow in tears will leap with songs of joy next he who goes out weeping carrying seed to sow will it turn with his songs of joy carrying sheaves with him imagine mtu akona beu za kupanda hana zingine ni hizi tu na lakini hizi begu za kupanda no no za kukula maybe ni maharagwe ama ma, ama mahindi lakini amwe kwamba hizi hizi maharagwe ama hizi seed sitakula i want to sow 
Mimi ni kwamba I will miss lunch, maybe I'll miss supper, but I want to I want to sow. So anaenda kwa shamba kupanda zile begu ambazo angekula na enjoy na familia yake. Lakini anaamua kwamba ana, anapanda. Naamini ya kwamba anapoenda kupanda anaenda akilia akijiuliza na watoto watakula nini na watoto nitawaambia aje anaenda kupanda akiwa analia the bible says he, he who goes out weeping calling seed to sow will return with song of joy calling sheaves with him next wamefika mwisho okay number 2 So if you want to harvest joy in your life in your family in your business in the politics offer a sacrificial giving offer your body your time or your money heavenly recognition heavenly recognition you know sahi ile kitu ambayo inasubua watu is to be recognized all of us we want to be recognized ile kitu ambao tumefanya oh so and so amekuja kwa mtandao we want to be recognized let me tell you if you want the kingdom of heaven to recognize you come on do this sacrificial giving kuna kuna juzi nikasikia kulikuwa na hii mazishi ya mzee kibol mzee kibol alikuwa ni chairman wa Amen conference. And so wake 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 wakiongea alikuwa na wake wangapi? Watatu. Sasa mke mmoja sasa kwamba oh najua mzee Kibol alikuwa ni mzee wa, wa drama tu. So ile kitu ambayo alikuwa nataka ni recognition. So mambo yote ambayo alikuwa akisema ya kutisha wake wake na divorce ilikuwa ni recognition. Sasa wewe <laughs> wezi fanya kama mzee Kibol ya kwamba you want to be recognized kwenye mtandao ama na watu wa hapa but a heavenly recognition ya kwamba even the kingdom of God they recognize brother so and so and sister so and so ni kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo umetoa mwili wako vile ambavyo umetoa wakati wako people of God vile ambavyo tunajitolea mambo za watu kwa sababu tunawapenda sometimes najiuliza na kama hivyo ndivyo ambavyo tunaweza kufanya tunaweza kutoa wakati wetu na mili yetu na pesa zetu kwa Mungu tungekuwa wapi i think the kingdom of god every day recognize you pop You can read Matthew 6 and verse 13 but, but Matthew 6:26 Matthew 26 and verse 6 up to 13 It's about the, the, the woman who gave sacrificiary he was recognized and the kingdom of God want to recognize you recognize me let give sacrificiary number 3 put credit in your account in heaven put credit in your account in heaven wakati ambapo unatoa sadaka hii ya sacrificial giving unakuja kanisani unatoa mwili wako wote unatoa wakati wako wote kwa wiki kuna kuna <coughs> kuna hela ama kuna utajiri ambao unaekeza kwenye account yako ya binguni you know mambo mingi ambayo iko hapa is a copy ya original so hapa hapa duniani tuko na account mengine ni ya banki hii na banki hii na banki hii na tunafanya kazi kubwa sana tuna make sure kwamba tuna deposit tuna credit pesa pale na by end of the year unaweza angalia account yako uko na this amount of money even in the heaven all of us All of us we have account in heaven and every time you are you are giving sacrificially what you are doing is you are putting credit 
in your account. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 17. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 17. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 17. This is the Macedonia church also. They were giving sacrificially. And Paul said, know that I'm looking for a gift. Ah, mimi, sina haja na zawadi zenu. Ah, ah. Lakini, but I'm looking for what may be credited to your account. Heavenly account. People of God. Know from this today, ya kwamba, ukona account binguni. Kama vile ambavyo ukona account ya absa, ama ya hile bank about konayo. Na, <laughs> itakuwa ni mbaya sana. Yani account yako ya binguni, hakuna kitu, yani haina kitu, iko negative. Kwa sababu, hakuna kitu ambayo umeekeza. Wakati ambapo, una give sacrificially. Unatoa wakati wako, unaenda, unaona mtu, unamtembelea, unambaliki. Hiyo pesa yako ugetumia ukule lunch ama sapa. Lakini unamua kwamba, I want to bless you and so. Ufalme wa mungu panuke. Ima mboyote ambao watu wanafanya, wanafanya, wana, wana credit their heavenly account. Ibu julize, unaweza kaa mwezi mzima aji. Bila kuwekeza kitu kwenye account yako. Vili ambavyo tunajitahidi. Ili account zetu za hapa duniani. Ziwe na kakitu. Angarau unaweza enda wakati wa isa. Uweke pin na utoe pesa. Pia tujisugulishe. Ya kwamba tunaenda kuwa na kakitu. In the heaven account. Lastly. Victory over your enemies. Sacrificial giving. Itatupatia ushindi over our enemies. Kuna watu ambao natupinga, unatuombea mabaya, unatufanya mambo mengi sana. Lakini wakati ambao unamua, to give sacrificially, unajitoa bila kubakisha. Yani, kutoa bila kubakisha, kuna leta ushindi over our enemies. First King 3. And 16, very fast. I'm done. First King. First King. 3 and verse 16. Now, two prostitutes came to the king and stood before him. Very fast. One of them said, my Lord, this woman and I live in the same house. I had a baby while she was there with me. The that day after my child was born, this woman also had a baby. We were alone. There was no one in the house but the two of us. During the night, this woman's son died because she lay on him. So she got up in the middle of the night and took my son from my side while I, your servant, was asleep. She put, she put him by her blessed and put her dead, send my blessed. The next morning, I got up to nurse my son and he was dead. But I, when I looked at him closely in the morning light, I saw that it was not the son I had born. The other woman said, no, the living one is my son. The dead one is yours. But the first one insisted, no, the dead one is yours. The living one is mine. And so they argued before the king. <clears throat> the king said, <clears throat> this one say, my son is alive and your son is dead. While what one say, no, your son is dead and man is alive. The king said, <clears throat> bring me a sword. So they brought a sword for the king. Then he gave an order, cut the living child in two. And give half to one and half to the other. The woman whose son was alive was filled with compassion for her son and said to the king, Please, my Lord, give her, that is sacrificial giving, give her the living baby. Don't kill him. But the other said, Neither I nor you shall have him. Cut him into two. 
And the king gave his warning. Give the raving baby to the first woman. Do not kill him. She is his mother. Yani, Bible say, makahaba wawili walikuwa wanalala lumumoja na wakawa na watoto ambao walikuwa ni eji metumoja. Kasa moja, akiwa melala, akionyesha mtoto, akamulalia. Mapua, ikashikana, yani haizi breathe, and then, mtoto akafa. So, walipoana mtoto wamekufa, akawala kwa mba, siwezi poteza mtoto. So, akageuza, akambatia ule kaba mwingine, akachukua mtoto waki. Ule kwa, alikuwa mekufa, akamulaisha pali, kama ananyonya. So, asubuhi yule mama, anamka asubuhi, anapata mtoto, amekufa. Lakini na bomuangalia, ah, usi mtoto wangu. Kwa hivyo wakaenda kwa the king, kustaki. Kamea mfalme, tumekuja hapa, uweza kutatua shida hii. Na nini mbaya? Ah, tukua tumelala, lakini huyu mtoto wake akamlalia, akafa. Adhani baadaye, akamleta kwangu akachukua mtoto wangu ambaye alikuwa hai akamchukua sasa huyu ako na mtoto wangu so wako na bishana pale ah wako ni huyo wako ni huyo ah ah and then king akasema hivi okay i want to give a ruling sawa sawa sama my servant patia upanga akachukua mtoto mtoto akachukuliwa you know hiyo mtoto wadogo video hiyo wa hawana nguvu sana akachukua kamugu akachukua <laughs> juu hivi so kichwa iko chini akasema huyu mtoto namkata mara ngapi mara mbili wewe utachukua nusu na wewe uchukue nusu sawa tumaliza tumalizane lakini the first woman the bible say she gave sacrificially yani imagine mtoto ni wako unajua for sure huyu mtoto ni wangu Si yule ambaye nimekaa hapa bonoka ambaye amekufa lakini akatoa sacrificially akasema a a mfalme usimue mtoto mtu wacha wacha ni wacha ni peane tu wacha ni peane yule mama akaamua kupeana mtoto wake yule judge akaangalia yule mama ambaye ametoa sacrificially akasema na huyo mama apatie mtoto wake People of God, every time you give sacrificially, Mungu anatupatia ushindi over our enemies in Jesus' mighty name. You can stand on your feet in Jesus' name. Wakati mungia tunalia, oh, saitani, oh, shetani, oh, sijui ni merogwa, walichukua guwa zangu za dani, wakapereka wapi, sijui zika chorwa, sijui zika andikwa, let me tell you, kuchukua watachukua, wataziandika, watafanya mambo zote ambazo, wanaweza kuwafanya. But I want to tell you today, learn to give sacrificially. You can do it weekly, you can do it monthly, but you can decide. Uangalia maisha yako, na uamue kwamba, nataka nifanye kitu ambayo, inanigalimu. People of God, sometimes you can even decide ya kwamba hata leo, ibi ya shara yangu, ni taifunga. I want to be in the kingdom of God. I want to be in the house of God. Watu wanakuliza, umefunga kazi, eh? Leo sitaki pesa zingie, leo nataka niwe weponi mwake mungu. It's sacrificial giving. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, we bless your name, None is like you. Thank you, Father, because you have called us to the Lord. Thank you for your promise, Lord. Promise of greatness. We thank you, Father, and we bless your name. Help us, Lord, and give us a grace, Lord, to give sacrificial, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we bless your name. Thank you because of the harvest of joy. Thank you, Father, for having recognition. And Father, we thank you for the victory over our enemies. And I also thank you for protection that you're giving unto us, O God. In Jesus' mighty name. 
Amen, 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 amen. Kwa wale ambao wameingia saa hii this coming Thursday saa kumi na moja tutakuwa mahali hapa. Na tunakuja kumwabudu Mungu kwa sababu Roho wa Mungu alinisaidia on Thursday mchana ya kwamba kuna mambo ambayo shetani alipanda kupitia ndoto na hiyo mambo ikamea na ina affect watu sasa on Thursday itakuwa ni Thursday ya kuwa fruit chochote ambacho shetani amepanda katika maisha yetu and i know one thing ya kwamba the holy spirit cannot reveal kitu ambayo haiko hii ni kitu ambayo iko na the only way si vile ambavyo tunaweza ku kungoa kungoa hii a a ni mambo ya kiroho na mambo ya kiroho ilifanywa na kiroho lazima nasi tuingie na kiroho na tunafanya kwa kuelewa na kwa hivyo ningetaka niambie wale wote ambao tuta participate siku hii ya Thursday to uproot mambo ambayo shetani amepanda juu ya maisha yetu tutaanzia asubuhi kwa Thanksgiving na mchana hatutakula tutakunywa maji peke yake hata chai hatukunywi from 6 up to 6 lakini saa 11 ukiamka saa 11 unaweza kukula ukunywe chai lakini hivi ka 6 on the dot wachana chai maji peke yake tumalize jioni hapa kanisani na mchana tutakuwa tunangoa chochote ambacho kilipandwa juu ya maisha yetu and i believe with all my heart there will be a harvest of joy in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord give you grace in Jesus' name. We'll have a break of uh, maybe five minutes or seven minutes. And then from there, the Lord bless you. Amen. Sana 
sadaka zangu ziwe manukato kwa Yesu astahili sifa Yeah.